everybody. Welcome to the Yamnesco Wolf Dog Sanctuary. My name is Sarah and I'm hanging out with Loki here today. Now before Loki came to the sanctuary, he was a master escape artist. He was constantly escaping his owner's backyard and that meant he was a very frequent visitor of Edmonton Animal Control. They were constantly catching him and bringing him back home. And when his owner realized that they couldn't quite contain Loki, he was surrendered and brought to our sanctuary. Now wolf dogs, like just like Loki here, they are master escape artists. They are very good diggers and very good jumpers. And so that means we have to make sure that our wolf dog containment is safe and secure for them. So we don't have any uh, escape artists of our own. Uh, so follow me and I'll show you how our containment system works and how our fencing works. And you can learn all about it. Wolf dogs have a natural inclination to roam, which means they require very large enclosures. They are also very good problem solvers and they are capable of scaling a six foot fence. Obviously, if a wolf dog does escape, they are at risk of being injured or killed, or they might be mistaken for a pure wolf as well, which can create quite the stir in the public. This is the reason why we make sure our enclosures at the sanctuary are safe and secure for our wolf dogs, and we wanna make sure they are safe and happy here. All of our enclosures are double gated or in an alleyway. This provides an extra layer of protection because if a wolf dog were to slip out of one gate, there is another one to stop them from escaping. This is also very handy if we do need to bring in equipment or supplies into the enclosure. And some of our wolf dogs are able to pop the pin up with their nose, so we do make sure that we have carabiners and locks on every single gate to make sure that we don't have any potential breakouts. Since our wolf dogs are very good climbers, our fences are 8 feet tall and they're held up with wooden or metal poles. At the very top of the fences, there is a 2 foot lean in and this makes sure that if anyone does try to climb the fence, they are unable to hop over at the top there. At the bottom of the fences, we do have dig guards. These guards make sure the wolf dog can't dig underneath the fence. Our very early enclosures do have dig guards over the ground, but we have discovered that it's much more effective to have dig guards trenched into the ground. Obviously, it's much harder for a wolf dog to dig under four feet of dig guard underneath the ground and then back up four feet. Some of our very early enclosures also have hot wire at the very top of the fence. However, we have discovered this is unnecessary because our fencing is tall enough. Our enclosures at the sanctuary range from one to three acres in size, which provides our wolf dogs with plenty of room to explore. There is plenty of tree coverage and enrichment and structures for the wolf dogs to explore. They love to explore through their forest, lounge on top of their platforms, swim in their tank, sleep on their den, or explore natural structures. Making sure a wolf dog is happy in their enclosure is a very important way to make sure they're unmotivated to escape and happy. Obviously at the sanctuary here, we do our best to make sure all of our wolf dogs are enriched, safe, secure, and happy. 